Hello friends, myself Pratik Lal. So as we know that there are multiple architecture patterns are available. So in this tutorial, I have covered MBVR architecture pattern. So we cover below topics. So let's start. So first, I have run this application. In this application, I have used simple table view and pool to refresh and this is com custom component, a calendar component, which I have implemented. Here you, you can next and previous to next, uh, next and previous month. And using change uh, change this date like and filter those data and this is the sample animation here you can show that code data local storage part so we can see like how data are stored as you can see that these are these entities this is our folder uh, project folder structure like here view this is our storyboard this is cu custom calendar component this is our table view cell file and xib file here in view in view con uh, controller here view controller file and in view model i have implemented view model like cleaner list view this is model class over which i have used in this project here you can see that code data helper file like code data stake and all these things this is code data or uh, code data model class manage object model class this is service folder in this um, folder i have a implement implemented a data service uh, class which i uh, which is used for uh, reading data from file and this is parser class using this class we can store data into our code data local storage and this is error class error enum which i have used in this application so first of all this is xc model i have implement, implemented two in entities like task and visit so as you know that these are uh, this is the uh, uh, visit and these are the attributes of this visit and visit belongs to multiple tasks so as you know that the relationship of as you know that the one to many relationship here you can show, uh, show the delete rules of if a task a visit is deleted then task also deleted without needing uh, need, without need of deleting task And here I have applied visit ID to uniqueness constraint. So when we insert this visit, so based on visit ID, we can provide uniqueness of visit. These are in in code data helper uh, mod, uh, folder. I have implemented mod, uh, models folder where you can see the manage object model classes. Now let's start with view, our view controller. Here, this is our uh, simple home view controller, like here. So as you can see that this is our view model class. Now from view did load, here I have implemented those closures and all these things. 
and from view model fetch visit so let's move to fetch visit so from this method we can fetch visit from service class here I have uh, implemented the protocol using protocol method we fetch the uh, we call this method like here so here read uh, read the json file from uh, from json which i have put it here so those data are pa are passed to the parsable protocol here and using this uh, using code data manager we can store those data into our local storage after that those data uh, data are stored now we can fetch here and using closure we can refresh our view controller here so you can see that these are the W logic some animation logic here and as you know that here I have implemented custom calendar view so in this in calendar view I have implemented all the calendar logic like next previous of one here day selection and all these things using this protocol we filter this below data as you can see then these are the collection view using this collection view I have implemented this calendar I have also implemented some basic test case so you can see that here you can show the test case result like pass or fail and all these things So that's it. So uh, for source code, you can visit description. Thanks for watching my video, and if you like my video, then please like and do subscribe my channel. Thank you.